Hey YouTube, James here. Uh, been a while since I actually put out a video. Uh, been kind of busy here with stuff at home and uh, work and everything. We're getting uh, the work where classes are about to start, so we're extremely busy making sure everything's ready to go. So, this video, um, I don't know if you guys have been following along, but a lot of debate going on which test kit is better. Uh, API, there's a lot of fans for that. Red C, there's a lot of fans for that. Sulfur, a lot of fans for that. Uh, just like in any field, you're always going to have your fanboys. You're going to have your people who prefer one brand over another. Uh, so, being new to the hobby and listening to everyone debate over which test kit is the best, which one's more accurate, I, I had to do the research on my own. I couldn't just take people's words. I hope you guys aren't just gonna take my word with all my tests. Uh, feel free to do these tests on your own. Uh, it is costly to do what I just did, but uh, sometimes it's the results really uh, show you what's going on. So, what I did was I started out with API test kits. Um, and a lot of people are like, no, no. Like everyone in the hobby, they don't almost always start with API. And everyone's like, oh, API is not accurate at all. And eventually I noticed I needed a test for my magnesium. So I picked up the Red Sea. And then I kept hearing about sulfur and everyone. So I figured, let me try all three of them and um, compare them. So I've already done two videos, if you guys have seen on here. One was like an hour and a half long. That was the first one. Then I did a quick update on the second week. But I've been going for, let's see here, let me pull up my numbers. Uh, I did one, two, three, four, five. I did this for six weeks where I test each test kit. Now, with my test, I did these in order, or not order, but like right after each other. So it wasn't like I did the API one day, the Red Sea one day, and so for the other day. I did the API, did the Red Sea, the sulfur all one day. All these water, all the water used came right from the same tank. So I wasn't using different tank, wasn't using my sump for some and tank for the others. Every water that was tested came right from the split tank itself. So that try kept consistent of uh, water going in for these three test kits. So before I actually Actually, you know, let me show you guys the results first, and I'll go in and talk about some other stuff. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but here's the test results, and uh, I'll give you guys a closer view in a little bit. So let me just go in and explain it. So, the first week, API, I tested. I had uh, my pH was 7.9, my ammonia was zero, my nitrite was zero, my nitrates were 40, calcium was 480, KH, 11, phosphate, 0.25, and of course, can't test the magnesium. A Red Sea, I can only test the calcium, the KH, and the magnesium. So my calcium was 460, my KH was 12, and my magnesium was 1360. And then the salt fart here is uh, my pH was 7.9, my nitrite was 25, according to their scale, uh, calcium was 470, KH it was 14.4. Um, my magnesium was 12.6. Now, you're also going to hear my uh, second week, my cage for sulfur was much higher than the other two. And I actually, on the third week, I reread the directions and realized I was doing something wrong. So that solves that there. Um, after that, they're all kind of level. So, really, guys test kits kind of were in the same range um, for all my test results 
the only one that's really worked way off was the uh, red sea magnesium and the sulfur magnesium those two were there were big differences in those uh, but everything else was right either the same number or right in the same range of each other so uh, I don't really think any of these test test kits are better than the other ones again I'm no expert these are just my opinion uh, some pros and cons I have with these. Now, some of the pros I have with API is they're cheap. These kits are very cheap. You can probably get both of these kits for about 50 bucks. The Saltwater Master and the Reef together, you can probably get about $50 on it. Now, they're easy to use. They come with test tubes. You drop in the right amount of chemicals. They even tell you how many drops on the bottle real simple to use the directions even tell you if your numbers are off ways to improve your numbers and the case is not that bad so those are my pros with the apis now my cons is and a lot of the cons are the same is you gotta judge coloring so the coloring on the apis are pretty close in the range so you gotta judge all of this i also discovered that the test tube line they uh, marked five milliliter was off. Uh, when I got the Red Sea and came with that uh, syringe, I started using the five milliliter syringe to fill up the test tube, and I realized the water was higher in the line. So that's a con. And uh, the other con, it doesn't come with something to fill the test tube. So before I had anything, I was dipping the test tube in and trying to level out the water. My uh, pros for the Red Sea is simple to use it's quick i mean there's not much to it the directions are laminated so each chemical has their own laminated card with the numbers on them really easy to follow uh, if you get some water on them they don't get damaged uh, case carries everything very nicely everything's compact so that's the pros some of the cons is this is pricier than the APIs. I believe this, this kit alone, which only has three in it, ran about $50 by itself. Um, it can be hard to read the numbers with the both uh, syringes and stuff going in. You gotta realize how much you're using, not how much is left. And make sure you judge the number off of that. So those are the cons with the Red Sea. And I'm going to the Sulfur. Now, some of the pros is these are really easy to use. Um, you actually, with the syringe ones, you gauge up how much is left, not how much is used. So you can uh, actually get, I feel a little more accurate on your uh, numbers there. They're, each kit is separate, so you uh, don't have to buy a whole kit just to get one test. Cons are, these are very pricey. So now, like I said, the uh, kits are separate but they run, each box runs about $20 alone. So that's very pricey for one kit. Um, as you can see, it's a cardboard box for the case. Not well protected, it gets wet and stuff. This can uh, fall apart. Uh, continuous opening, closing can uh, cause damage. So that's a con I have with these. Uh, the directions can be a little misleading. Like I know on the one, the KH I was doing wrong at first was it, told you to use the 5 milliliter syringe and I didn't look closely. It actually told you only to fill up to the 4 milliliter mark, not the 5 milliliter mark. So uh, I was, for the first two weeks I was using 5 milliliters of water instead of the 4, which was throwing off my test results. So guys, that's my reviews on the three popular test kits. As I said, I'm no expert. I just spent my uh, hard money, as some people would say, on uh, to determine what works best for my kit, my tests, um, my tank, and all that stuff. I really think um, as I'm learning this hobby, I probably will either stick with the Red Sea or the API, just because one, they're cheaper, a little easier to use, and um, I actually like the Red Sea because I use their dosing elements, and their dosing elements are very simple to use, simple to read, so I figure if I'm testing, and going to be dosing with the Red Sea stuff, I should be following the Red Sea's uh, test kits. Alright guys, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Thank you.